Hello and welcome to the 2020 6th through 12th grade youth ministry startup video. Uh, this meeting is designed uh, to help us all start up the year right uh, with all the information that is needed. And yes, it's a little late in the game, but we've wanted to collect as much information as we could from the schools and everything going on to get uh, all the right, as much information as we can uh, out to you, uh, youth families. So here's our agenda for uh, uh, this video. First, we'll walk through this year's programming uh, calendar handout, which should be uh, attached uh, in a link to the same email that had the link to this video. So go ahead and bring that up and maybe get your own personal calendar ready to write down some dates. Um, next, we're going to highlight some of the changes and how we're operating uh, starting up this fall. And then we'll also talk about uh, the big events that we still have planned for this year. But first, let's get started with a word of prayer. God, thank you so much that um, we've laid out these plans to be able to gather uh, and encourage faith in the next generation. Um, we know, Lord, that um, you are the one who will guide our steps in the midst of us making uh, these plans. And we ask that you would help us all and help our students to grow closer to you in these times, that we would have faith in how you're looking to work in and through us uh, this year. We pray this in Jesus' name, and all God's people said, amen. Uh, first, a word about consent forms. Just like normal, uh, we will do a kind of consent form as needed format for any events that we have outside of our normal church stuff. We'll be making those consent forms available in a digital format this year through, again, the same email that we sent out this information too. So if you'd like us to send it to a different email, be sure to connect with us uh, and let us know. And uh, be on the lookout for uh, different ways in which we will update and send out future con consent forms uh, and information about any changes that are needed to be made to any of our programming. Um, to walk through our programming schedule, uh, I'll hand it over to Justin Oliver. All right. Thanks, Toby. So yeah, looking at our programming schedule for a little bit here, our plan to start up this fall hasn't changed too much, um, but uh, we'll be having in-person large group starting with the programming on Sunday nights. Middle school will be in the north side of the fellowship hall at 6 p.m., and you will still enter through the carport door for them. And then high school will be in the shed at 7 p.m. So and our first Sunday will be this very upcoming Sunday, September 27th. So our small group ministry will be starting a little bit different on its virtual small groups for the most part, which will be taking place on Wednesday nights. Middle school will be at 6 p.m. and high school will be at 7 p.m. Unless the small group leader te tells their small group of a different plan that they've made. We'll send out a link to each Zoom meeting via email um, to all of the youth families. And we will not be starting up regular youth band practices for the junior hires until 2021 and we're still figuring out some of the details for the high school youth band and then looking at the programming calendar which you should have in the email um, yeah so yeah we're, we're starting up on the 27th for the high schoolers we might since there's also a Packer game at that time we might uh, we might do we might start as kind of a normal large group and then we might throw the game on and do kind of like a tailgate night uh, that's an idea that we have going on right now. But uh, we're starting out with, um, as far as like what our topics are, we're starting out with a series called The Culture Clash. And so we're going to be going through different things and looking at how our culture views those versus how the Bible and how we as Christians should view those. So we're starting out with justice. Um, we're going to hit money, uh, love, dating, um, and just be able to see, especially with a lot of things going on in our world right now, just kind of see how we as Christians should be viewing those. Um, and then we still have the Silver Birch going on Friday, October 23rd through the 25th, um, the middle school retreat at Silver Birch Ranch. We're very excited um, for that to still be going on. Um, we're keep going through that series up until November. We have those two weeks off or the, the week off, Wednesday and Sunday off for Thanksgiving. Um, and then we're going to be diving into more of a Christmas theme series at the beginning of December. And then we'll be having our small group parties on December 
16th and our large group party on Sunday, December 20th. And then we'll have a couple weeks off again for Christmas and New Year's. Then we're gonna be diving into what I think will be really fun. And it's kind of actually a lot similar to the other series, but a series based off the Sermon on the Mount. And this, of course, is pretty much the same thing as the culture clash, except it was going through, Jesus was going through the things that were going on with the church and the Pharisees and all the people at that time. Um, so we're going to be looking at a lot of the different topics, um, what it means to be salt and light, the law of God, um, how we as Christians deal with anger and loving our enemies and prayer and anxiety and judge, judging and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I think that'll be really cool looking at uh, getting Jesus's hands-on take for all those issues. And uh, Wednesday, February 17th, we have our Ash Wednesday service. So um, we'll be off that week. And then February 26th through the 28th is the Senior High Silver Birch Retreat. Um, and then we'll be diving in probably to some kind of post Silver Birch series based off the topic, which we don't know the topic for it yet, so waiting for that. But we'll do something re relating that um, for our Wednesday and Sunday nights. And then we're going to finish the year a little bit different, thinking about doing a question and answer panel and discussion. Um, I think will be really cool. I don't think we've done anything like that, at least not in the last few years. So um, that'll be something around that time to maybe be encouraging the kids to think of uh, what kind of questions that they would want answered. We'd have different small group leaders that be on the panel and whatnot, but still kind of working on that. But uh, then we have two weeks off for spring break. Then there's Easter. And then we have the um, then we're getting to the end of the year, so we're wrapping up with some Youth Sunday prep and some of our uh, small group parties, and so that's pretty much all going to be all going on in April. Tentative date for Youth Sunday is April 25th, um, but we don't know for sure, and then we'll probably have a large group party after Youth Sunday, or that night after Youth Sunday. Um, and that pretty much wraps up the, the programming calendar as far as Wednesday and Sunday nights. Um, and we'll probably have the baccalaureate service on, the, on May 30th. We'll probably have, might have graduate Sunday on June 6th. We'll probably have the junior high, Camp Manitoba's tentative date for that is July 14th through the 18th. And the tentative date for the junior high is going to Noah's Ark is July 14th. And then Life Fest is July 9th through the 10th. And then uh, the, I believe still tentative, maybe not the Twin Cities Servant Leaders missions trip is July 18th through the 24th. And we have a tentative family camp weekend, August 6th through 8th. So that pretty much wraps up what I have. I believe I'll throw it back to Toby. Thank you, Justin. Um, one of the events that uh, I want to hit on right away is that we have rescheduled and planned uh, for an alternative See You at the Poll opportunity. That will be Friday night, October 16th. We're going to have this at First Presbyterian Church here in Oostburg. Uh, and what we're going to do is have a live stream watching uh, get together, an event uh, for all junior high and senior high uh, students and even parents if they want to come to watch uh, the Dutchman football game Friday night. And then at halftime is when we'll have our See You at the Poll prayer time for our community, for our schools, and for our country. Uh, so come on out for that. If it's cold, we're going to have uh, portable campfires. Um, it should be a great time uh, and a fun time together. A few details I want to mention real quick about the junior high retreat right now. Our speaker wrote a book uh, called My Shepherd based on Psalm 23. Uh, and the, our speaker is also the president of Silver Birch Ranch. So we we're very excited to have Dave Wager there uh, speaking to us. The worship band will be the Oostburg area worship leaders who go by the band name Juices Midnight Preachers. Uh, I think you can get a t-shirt of that. You got to check with Justin about it if you'd like one. But uh, we will have a sign up 
for those students that are even just interested, not fully confirming, but interested in uh, going. Uh, the cost will be $75 again. The money and consent forms will be due Wednesday, October 14th. And also new this year, of course, Silver Birch is requiring each person attending to fill out a seven-day pre-retreat health screening form where you take your temperature and check for symptoms each day leading up to the trip, and parents will need to initial each day that that is taken care of. Uh, we'll do temperature checks as we load onto our charter bus that we will be using uh, to go up to Silver Birch because we're not allowed to stop anywhere on the way up. Uh, We'll get off and our, we'll have temperature checks when we get there. Uh, masks will be required on the bus, uh, just like school requires uh, for their busing. Um, moving on to the high school winter retreat is going to be February 26th to the 28th, which will also be at Silver Birch. Uh, again, with four area churches and about five other churches in East Central Wisconsin. And our speaker this year, we already have down, uh, is the same speaker we had out at Estes Park in Colorado at Ravencrest two summers ago. Uh, so we are super excited to have our, this amazing speaker come back. His name is Mr. Frank Cerrone. Uh, so we're excited for that. We're planning to keep Youth Sunday and Graduate Sunday divided up. So stay tuned for when uh, those are. Um, and... 6th and 7th graders this next summer uh, will hopefully be going back to Camp Manitoba and stay tuned for more details on that. Right now we're putting out the tentative date to likely have that June 14th to the 18th of 2021. Finally, uh, we have our mission trip to the Twin Cities rescheduled and ready to go. It will be July 18th to the 24th, and we'll have an interest sign up at our first large group meeting this Sunday. This year's eighth graders are welcome to join, uh, and it'll be a great first mission experience. By way of reminder, we're going with an organization I've been connected with for six years called LEAD 222, who will provide great programming alongside of this servant leadership opportunity. Total cost will be $250, and if you can get a deposit in by November 20th, uh, that's when it's $250. If it's after November 20th, it'll be $300. If you have any questions or concerns about anything that we put out in this video, um, do reply back to the email that it was sent to you in. Um, if circumstances change uh, that cause us to have to um, change how we're doing some of our programming, we will be sure to communicate as quickly and as clearly as we can. But just want to say thank you so much for tuning in and getting all caught up on how we're planning to do ministry uh, in the midst of everything that's going on. Um, we can't say enough of how much we appreciate uh, your support and your flexibility in this time and just really excited uh, for what God's gonna do in this season. So with that, we hope to see you soon.